This has been going on in India for 20 years, since the early 90s, let's say. Uh, whether it's because India got worried about the tiger uh, on its shoulder, uh, and it was neighborhood envy or not, anyway, India got going. And you have to look at it as a continuum. So you know, you, nothing goes like this. Even WPP doesn't go like this. WPP has ups it's and nice. downs. Absolutely. Everything is cyclical. And now, the great thing about India is there's a secular trend upwards. And, you know, our business in India last year, um, I can't, I mean, our close season, but I'll say, you know, we did uh, strong 15% when the economy grew at, you know, less than half that or around half that. And it's a tough business to do so well. Well, no, advertising is a proportion of GMP in fast growing markets. You know, they're under advertised, they're under branded, so mm -hmm. we get a natural kick. Oh, yes. um, so that would be the case of Brazil, that would be the case of Russia, that would be the case of India and China. But anyway, I said, I said you have to look at it in the, pro, in, the, in, the, in the form of a continuum. So there are bound to be, down to Brazil is going through that, Russia is going through that, China, people talk about hard landing, soft landing, no landing. I think there'll be a soft landing in China. So in any event, look, uh, and I also said we would love in the UK or the US to have two or three percent growth. So uh, I think it's overdone. And, you know, look, look, bless you, the media love to have things in extremes, right? <laughs> so, 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 you know, if you've written the story up, you have to yes. write the story down. If you've written the story down, you, right, the, bit, the best thing about having something negative written about you is the pro, pro, probably the next story will be positive. So I think look at it in a continuum. And, and by the way, India will strengthen. Yes. And grow, and then it'll it'll weaken off again, and it'll get a bit. But the trend will be upwards. And what other positive sectors do you see? What positive sectors do you see? Well, I think it's pretty much across the board. I mean, we we are we are heavily involved in the telecommunication sector, heavily involved in the automotive sector, heavily involved in the packaged goods sector, mm -hmm. heavily involved in the pharmaceutical sector. I mean, we're involved in all se sectors. All of those sectors, for example, are very important. Things like tea and chocolate. Uh, which we've been talking about, or coffee. I mean, all these areas, uh, those would be packaged goods areas. But uh, all these areas, so the whole of the Indian economy, IT, generally, I talk about telecommunications, but the whole IT area, the whole outsourcing area, controversial because the, the president and this, uh, the US president in, this, in his State of the Union uh, message is now going to penalize American companies that offshore uh, people. We'll have to see how they do that. And I'm not sure that's, I think that works politically. It was a great political speech. I'm not sure that it works that, that, that well commercially or, or practically. It's election year. It's election year. So there will be lots of stuff um, happening in front of that. And the, the Chinese uh, trade issues that the were raised was not, it was, not, was not good either. Um, but I know, I think basically it's a pretty much across the board with India. I mean, the, in, the thing I would like to see in India, obviously, is the infrastructure. Infrastructure, improved infrastructure is one of the ways of dealing with that issue, which, you know, the inequality issue, which raises its head here in Davos, but nobody has the answer to, and because it's a difficult issue to have the... And people shy away from, from, from trying to deal with the issue. But the, you know, the inequality issue is not just a, a Western issue. It's not just a, an occupied Davos Absolutely. or Absolutely. occupy Wall Street or 1% versus the 90% uh, issue. It's an issue in China. It's an issue in India. It's an issue in Brazil. It's an issue in Russia. Maybe a little bit less in Brazil, but I think it will grow in Brazil. So um, I think the infrastructure issue is the critical issue for me. Are you talking to city builders? People who are yes. building new Indian cities. Yeah, we saw a very, very good uh, uh, presentation actually at the Nestle breakfast by Ma Mahindra mm -hmm. um, about building cities. A, a woman who made a tremendous presentation about that. So, I mean, that thing. And then uh, our IBM campaign around the world, which is called Smarter Planet, Smarter Cities, yes. which focuses on the 450 points of light. If you were an astronaut going around the world, you would see 450 concentrations of light which would represent every city that has a million or so people. So there are 450 of those. 150 of them in China, by the way, or thereabouts. So we had three conferences. We had one in Berlin, we had one in New York, hosted by Mayor Bloomberg, we had one in Shanghai. And we had, you know, I, don't, I think we had probably about, uh, I think 500 people each conference, so 1,500 worldwide. And you've, you've covered the city governments. And that's, you know, the, the problems of the cities 
So it's a great campaign for IBM because the problems of the cities, you can talk about schooling, you can talk about the environment, you can talk about electricity and energy supply, <coughs> you can talk about transport. Some water? And water. You can talk about all of them. And you can talk about how IBM can bring solutions uh, to, uh, to those things. So it's a wonderful campaign, even though I do say so. I was <laughs> I was just wondering who did that. <laughs> shouldn't promote one campaign. But yes. It's a good campaign. It is a great campaign. Great, a great, great campaign. campaign. So when we say Brand India, since you are in the business, yeah. what is Brand India to you? Well, I, I mean, Brand India to me, to, um, intellect actually always pops into my mind because we, we, find, you know, we have uh, now 10,000 people in, in India. We have 150,000 around the world and there are 10,000 Indians that, uh, and basically Indians, we have some expats there, but we try and focus on local talent because we think that's the, the critical issue. Um, I think the talent, when I think about India, I think, you know, I often say that when I go to India, if uh, our businesses outside India were as good as our businesses inside India, I could retire. So everybody, that I hope gives them the motivation because they want me to retire, to, uh, <laughs> to, to improve themselves. Uh, so I think, I think talent is critically important. I think, um, I think media. Media. <laughs> media. <laughs> Uh, you know, who, who are sometimes great and sometimes a complete pain. <laughs> uh, Fastest growing democracy. Yes. Um, Bollywood, film, entertainment, cricket. Cricket. Yes, 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 cricket. IPL. Yeah, yeah, IPL. Yes. Are you a fan? Um, well, I'm a purist, you see. So, like I mean, I, you know, IPL to me is more about Bollywood in a way than it is about cricket. I'm, I'm going to get myself shot for no, saying It reminds this. me of WWF. <laughs> <laughs> yes, or the ultimate fighting thing, you know, yes. 200 million people in uh, Brazil watch uh, the, the UFC. Um, so I, I think a diversity, because I, and, you know, everybody thinks about India being one country and it's what, 27 states? 28 states, 28 and states. seven union territories. Right. So it's much more diverse and, and being 1.2 billion people.